Hey guys, it's Jen from My Create Crafts. In today's video, I will be showing you how to create these Grinch coasters made from tiles. I think these turn out really cute and they will make a great addition to my Grinch collection. If you haven't already checked it out, I made a bunch of Grinch crafts. Go back and check my channel to see some more. These were really easy to create and they will make great Christmas gifts. So let's get started and I will show you exactly how to create these Grinch coasters. Alright guys, so I'm going to be using these files. I bought these from the design bundles. Uh, they have dollar sales and they had a huge dollar sale. I hope you guys didn't miss out on that because there were some amazing deals going on. If I know they're coming up, I always tell you guys so you don't miss out on it. So that's where I got these from. I can leave the link in the description below for you guys in case you're interested in it. But you'll be paying full price for it, unfortunately. So with these, a couple of things that I need to do, I see right off the bat that there's a couple of different colors here for the green and looks like different colors for the red. So I wanna change that. So before I even get started, I'm just gonna change that really quick. Um, so what you wanna do is start with the first one. Um, it looks like uh, Mary, yep, Mary and Mess is already attached together, which I really like. So we'll just change the color on this to a different red. I'm just gonna take this red down here so that I know every single red is going to be the same color. So I just want this hat piece here and I'm gonna go to the same color I had just before so it's all the same. And then I'm gonna go to this naughty one and just change the color. Um, this is up to you guys if you wanna do it this way. Um, I just like to make sure that everything is the same color so when it cuts out, I'm not gonna have two different reds that I'm gonna have to cut out in here. So now I did, whoops, I got these guys. So I'm gonna show you this one. This one is attached already. So to finish it up or to undo it is actually ungroup it up here and that will ungroup every single piece here. I don't really like the snowflakes here so i'm actually going to get rid of that and i'm going to get rid of the little grinch guy too and maybe make this just a little bit bigger but before i go i'm going to change the color on this we're going to change it to this red quick and then i'm just going to do the same thing for the green as well um i'm just going to fast forward that part you guys don't have to watch that again so the next part i want to do is actually when i do files like this and they're different colors like this red is different than the green Sometimes what I like to do actually is attach the colors that are the same together so it makes it easier when you're putting it on something. Um, you can just attach it all together as it is. Meaning if I cut it out the way it is now, it will do stink, it will do stink next to it, it'll have two naughties separate from each other. So what I'm gonna do is actually attach these together. So I'm gonna grab the naughty one, I'm gonna hold my command button down and I'm gonna click on the other naughty one. And I have a Mac computer, so I'm not really sure how on your computers you're supposed to do it. If anybody knows, please let us know. I just hold down the, the command button and select the other one that I want. So you can see on the side here that it's all attached to each other. So I'm just going to go ahead and push the attach button. And all that means is this red part is going to, I'm going to show you, that it just means that these two are the same together, which is how I want it. So I'm going to do the same thing with the stink and stink. I'm going to hold down my command button and then just click on the stunk <laughs> and then go down here and push attach. So that just did the same thing really quick so that these two red ones are going to cut out as you see it. I'm actually going to do it. Oh, we already said the Merry Christmas one is already, or Merry Mess is already one. So we don't have to worry about that. So I'm just going to check this really quick and see how this is going to print out. Again, I want the Is It Too Late to Be Good together with the face. So if it's already grouped together, you're just going to want to go up here, click the ungroup button. Make sure you get just the face. Sometimes you have to ungroup it a few times. Like this one I can see I have to ungroup again. As you can see it on the side, it said group together. So now I have just the face part. We can see it right here. And I want to actually, good, it is attached. I was going to say I need to attach this. Let's just attach it really quick. You want to make sure this is attached before you go ahead and attach them together so that they stay together. So I have the first one selected. I'm going to hold down my command button. And then I'm just grabbing the face. And I'm going to push attach. Whoops. And then we get rid of the eyes. See, the eyes are still there. Don't worry about it. They are actually just behind the image. So I'll show you really quick. I'm going to put them in here and then you go up to uh, arrange and then send to front and there it is right there. So you don't have to worry about your eyes being gone. So when it cuts this out, it will cut out the face and is it too good to be, is it too late to be good? Um, so one last thing I want to do is my sh screen is already shrunk a little bit um, because the file was very large when I brought it in. What I like to do is I like to 
uh, visualize things. So I'm actually going to go ahead and click on shapes here and I'm going to just get a square. And the square is going to represent my uh, tile that I have. So I know the tile is four by four. So I'm going to change this to be four by four. So now if I make my screen, oops, if I make my screen bigger, we'll see it that it actually looks a lot bigger. There we go. So it's still at 75%. I'll just do one more. So this is a four by four. That is the size of my tile that I have. So I like to visualize things and now I can see where this will go in my tile. And actually I'm going to shrink this up again really quick. Sorry guys. And I'm going to make this all smaller so that it will fit in my full screen here. There we go. There. So now we can see it a little bit better. So here's the box. Again, it represents my tile. So I can see if anything goes out of the tile, I need to make it smaller. So I can't tell you you want each one to be 3.75 by 3.75 because it's going to skew everything and it's going to look really funny. So you, that's why I like to visualize it. You'll have to figure out what size you want it. Um, you can most certainly use the size that I'm using if you want to use these files exactly. So because the red is not attached to the green, um, you have to select the whole thing and it's going to go behind your square. Don't worry, it's still there. Just go ahead and click the arrange and send to front. So now what I'm going to do is just take this double arrow and make it a little bit bigger. Kind of see how big we can get it in here. And then I'm actually going to unlock it here too and see if we can stretch it a little bit to kind of fill in more of the space without skewing it too much. But again, that's why I really, really like this option to be able to see what it's going to look like on your tile. So just like this, you don't have to center it, you don't have to do anything. I like it the way that it's sized. I know it's smaller than a 4x4. Four four. Mine is a 3.711 by 3.173. In case you're interested in it, that's the size of this that I'm going to be using. So now I'm just going to take my box, I'm going to move these guys out of the way, and I'm going to take my box, and I'm going to do the same thing with this one. I'm going to select both of them because it's the red and the green separate, put it in the box, go up to a line, oops, a line. There you go. I can read. Oh, no. Oh, I was right the first time. Arrange. Sorry, guys. Go to arrange. Send to front. Now it's in the front of it, and we can kind of guesstimate and see what it's going to look like. So I'm going to unlock it here. And <clears throat> it's any way you guys want it to be. It doesn't have to be exactly like mine. It doesn't have to look like this at all. So I like the way that this one looks. I'm going to grab just the box, move the box out of the way. And then I'll show you the next one. And then I'll, I'll go ahead and show you how, what settings I use to cut this on. So I'm just going to do one more. So it's there. Arrange. Send to front. Oops. We must have lost the eyes. That's okay. I'll get that in a second. Then I'm going to unlock it here. This is a fun part, isn't it, guys? You guys can just kind of figure out where you want it and what you want it to look like. But again, I like being able to see it. So we're going to take this. Go to arrange. Send to front. And then we'll bring it here. Obviously, I made it the eyes a little bit. Or the face a little bit bigger. So I need to grab the eyes and make sure that the eyes are going to be a good size since I moved. That's better. There we go. A little bit better. Um, you know, the face looks a little skewed to me, so I'm actually going to take it and shrink it up a little bit more. This one's going to be a little bit smaller than the other ones, but just because the face there, it was just, it looked too skewed to me. So I like this one the way it is. And <clears throat> so I'm going to, just for the purpose of the video, I'm just going to leave this one for now. You guys will see that this one will be cut out different. Obviously, I have, did not change the green color on these, um, so the green is going to look a little bit different. But I'm going to go ahead and push make it and show you guys what it looks like. So here's the white, and here, well, I forgot to get rid of the square, so here's the hat. And this is what I'm talking about. If you don't change the color, this is exactly what it's going to do. I have two black colors, but they're not the same black. Actually, it looks more gray. So one gray and one black. So that's why I say if you want to attach it or if you want to go ahead and just, um, you know, uh, change the color altogether. So this one is the Merry Christmas one. Um, I like having them attached. Like I said, I'll have to go back and attach it, but this is what I was saying before. So depending on if you want to do this or not, I like it like this. I'm going to be lose losing a little bit of vinyl in between, but now it's going to be exactly straight the way it should go on my tile. So that's why I like attaching them like that. So here's the eyes that we did. And this is again what I was talking about. Wow, three different, oh my, four different colors of green. So that's like I said, if you want to go in and take the color and attach them together, um, it'll be so much easier than having four different colors or having to go in here uh, and click these three dots and then move the object to whatever color you want. So we'll just put it on this one. 
then I'll show you. So there's the H, then you'd have to move it over. It's just a big pain in the butt. So um, I highly recommend just changing all the colors to whatever color you want. So you do not have four different green colors here. I'm gonna go ahead and click continue just because I'm gonna go back and change this anyway. Um, I need to change the green obviously and then I have to attach another word, but that's how you do it. And what I like to do here is a stencil material and I actually go to the pressure and I do more. Um, that's all your preference on how you wanna do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this. I'm gonna weed it out. I will um, I will cut it out, I will weed it out, and then I will show you the next step. All right guys, so I finished cutting and weeding out my files. They turned out really awesome. And I did actually do two of them really quick to kind of show you what it looks like. Is it too late to be good? And stink, stink, stunk. So those are my tiles and that's how I'm gonna do it. The first thing that you wanna do is actually get your files together and how they go. So this one, there's three different colors. Actually there's four, it's the red, black, green, and then the white. So you wanna make sure everything is together before we even get started. Then you're going to want to use some alcohol with um, some wipes or cotton rounds, whatever you have on file. Clean it really well, let it dry, and then you can start working on your vinyl. So I'm actually going to look and see which ones have to go on first. So the first one I'm going to do is the black part, and then I'm going to layer it with the red, and then I'm going to do the black or the green and then the white next. So I'm going to start with the black one. I'm just going to use a piece of transfer tape. I already had cut off. I'm going to show you my transfer tape because a lot of people ask me, what do I use? Where do I buy it? Because I do actually talk about it a lot. I actually really love this transfer tape. So it's this big, huge roll that I have to order some more. And I buy it off of Amazon. Um, I believe it's called Fiskars. Um, I will leave the link below in case anybody is interested in it. But that is what I use. So after I put my transfer tape on and scrape it really well, I flip it upside down and pull backwards upside down basically. So once you get your file off, you're gonna wanna take your tile and take your time and find the center to this. Just kind of gazing at it, looking to see where the center is. And once you do, just push it down with your fingers and then you can use your squeegee, rub it on really well, get any air bubbles out that might be in it and then just making sure that your vinyl is nice and tight and stuck on your tile. So I'm gonna peel this off. Then the next part I'm gonna do is the Mary Xmas, or sorry, Mary Mess, because <laughs> the Grinch goes in part of it. So I'm just gonna put my same transfer tape over it. I love using this transfer tape over and over. It really saves a lot. Use the squeegee, get it up, and then just flip it over if you like and work backwards. Take my tile and again, Carefully and slowly, you're going to want to go in here and line this up. There. And then just take your squeegee and just rub over those parts again. I'm still getting used to layering. There might be an easier way to do this, but this is the way that I do it. This is the way it's, it's just easiest for me. It's just to layer the bottom part and then work your way up. So the next part I'm going to do is this little white part. So I'm going to take the same transfer tape, like I said, I love using it over and over, scrape it on there really well, and then peel back, and then now we want to line it up again. You know guys, is there an easier way to do this? Should I be um, putting them all together? before like layering everything before I put it on I don't know what do you guys do I'd like to hear from you what do you guys do do you layer like this or do you layer all at once and then put it on I don't know this is just what seems to be easiest for me that works so I would love to hear from you guys leave a comment down below so I'm taking the Grinch one same piece of transfer tape and then we got just flip it upside down get all the back off Oops, sometimes it sticks if it does just use your thumb and then find the center of this part for the Grinch. There we go. Then just take your squeegee, rub on like that, and then pull back. Oh my gosh, I think, wow. I think this one might be my favorite one. That is really cool. So I don't have any air bubbles in here, which is really, really good. If you do have air bubbles, you can try to peel it back or you can take a really, really small pin and pick the bubble out. There we go, so we have the naughty, 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 Mary Grinch miss. The stink, stink, stunk, and is it too late to be good? Hmm, good question. So the way I finish this off is at the back, 
it's not very pretty, right? So before I was going to the dollar store and buying cork board <laughs> and then cutting it to size and gluing it on, I found a simpler way, guys. So I buy these off of Amazon. I'll show you the bag. Comes in a huge bag of 100. And I think it was like mm, 15, 16 dollars for all this, but it's so simple. All you do is peel off this white part. That's gonna give me trouble. Peel off the white part, this part's sticky. And then on the back, you wanna just leave a little edge on each side, cause it's a little bit smaller than a four by four. But just like that, see? And then it won't scratch and it won't cut anything, it'll be just like that. So I'm gonna finish these up and I'm actually gonna show you how I wrap them up or what it looks like when I'm done wrapping it up. So I'll just put them all like this. I'll put some raffia or a string around it and then I can either leave it that way or put it in a dollar store bag. I'm not sure which one I'm going to do yet, but stay tuned to the end to see how it looks when it's all finished. Alright, so this is what it looks like when I'm finished with it. I just took some twine and wrapped it behind and in front and then just gave it a nice little bow at the top or in the middle. Um, one last thing I did forget to say is you're going to want to seal these. So the way I seal it is I use polycrylic spray and I do it outside and I spray it once or twice really far away, nice long strokes so you don't get any bubbling or anything on here. But you do want to make sure that you seal this. I'm sorry I didn't mention that, but please do make sure that you seal these and um yeah, it was just a lot of fun to create this. It only took a little while to create. You can make many of these. There's so many more designs on design bundles or Etsy you can even get. But I had fun with this. I love the Grinch stuff. So I thought this turned out really cute. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you aren't subscribers already. And happy crafting and happy holidays, everyone. Enjoy. Enjoy.